folks welcome back to balatro i'm glad you enjoyed the last video i hope you did because i'm ready to get another one out it's been a couple days i had a hard time finding the time to get in another balatro video but we're here now aren't we so continuing where we left off uh we're starting over <laughs> so not much of it continuing but yeah the omelet kind of kind of had me last time so we're gonna try again so what are the mistakes i made last time let's let's stop and consider well first of all i made the mistake of thinking that a straight scores more than a flush you'd be surprised at how much i make that mistake the problem is i think when you level up a straight um it, it scales with uh, level ups better than a flush does so if you start leveling them up a straight actually will score more but at its base at level one a flush is actually better than a straight but uh, more importantly i really just got to be even more financially conscious than i was before uh recognizing that again the only reason to even take a small blind or any or any blind really i guess is just because i want to get uh value added to my eggs let's see skip blind gives a free mega arcana pack i don't know if i'd be able to make use of two tarot cards i think it's probably worth skipping however or, 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 or just doing the blind but look at the next blind after defeating the boss blind gain 25 bucks that's very tempting i might have to skip the next one but we'll take this one we'll add a little bit of value to our jokers Already, I mean, I got three jacks right there. If I can just bait another pair out, we can get a full house, and that might be enough to, to clear this out in one hand. So I'm just going to discard. Uh, well, we'll keep the nine. How about we try for a nine? See what happens. Okay, I got a queen. I got a ten. I can go for a ten instead. I could go for a queen. Why not? Let's go for two queens. Okay, I just got another ten, even though I just discarded a ten, so things are looking dicey. Okay, we got a king. Oh, wait, actually, look at this. We got a, a four of a kind right there. That's amazing. Without even counting the value of the cards, just getting a four of a kind on its own is enough to clear this out. But then we add ten for each jack. Suddenly I score 700 points. What luck. Our eggs increase in value, and we, uh, we advance to the next round. But not before stopping by the shop, of course. So we can spend our four dollars. What do we have? Create a tarot card when blind is selected. <sighs> It's not a bad card. I've had pretty successful runs with Cardomancer in the past. Uh, I think I'd rather chance the Buffoon pack. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Played cards with Diamond Suit give plus three melt when scored. Not bad. Uh, I don't necessarily... It's, it's pretty early days. We just started, so it's hard to say how the rest of the run's gonna go. But typically when you take these kinds of cards, you want to, like, you know focus on weeding out the cards that aren't diamonds or using tarot cards to start converting cards into diamonds uh hard to say that i could get that i think more reliably i could take raised fist <clears throat> which increases in value if i leave a a high ranking card in my hand i think it'll be worth it for especially the early game here the extra little bit of, extra bit of uh of mulch should help and yeah, I'm going to take my $5 and just move on, I think. I'm not ready to sell another egg and grab another joker. I'd rather hang on to my four eggs. So let's move on. This will be enough to get us through the boss blind, I think. So we're going to skip this. I'm going to take my $25 once I beat the goad. So let's hope for the best. Our spades are debuffed. Not too worried about it. Okay, well, here's a flush. Look at this. There's already four hearts here. Okay, I actually didn't get any more hearts. <laughs> now, I, I do have a straight here. Uh, uh, I'd rather play the flush, I think. The flush is going to do more. It's just tempting because if, if I had a four of hearts, that'd be a straight flush. Ooh, very nice. Now, our lowest rank card is a four, and our raised fist is going to double that and add it to our mult. So whatever we get here is actually going to get times an additional eight. So I think I think this one hand should be enough to win us the the uh, the round here, the bl uh, the the blind. Let's see if I'm right. Oh yeah. Nice. You can see the value in that card. It's not bad. It'll uh, it'll increase in value once I can add a multiplier um, joker, a multiplying joker on top of uh, a joker, you know, like the raised fist that's just adding to the mult. So, Riff Raff, terrible joker for this, uh, for this challenge. Uh, this joker you really want to have a lot of empty joker slots to make use of it so i basically have to sell all my eggs just so i can get this it's not going to be worth it 
Uh, and I'm not going to get this gluttonous joker for the same reason I didn't get the diamond joker. So instead, my money would be best spent probably on packs, unless I want to re-roll the shop. A celestial pack will give us three planet cards to choose from, which will upgrade our hands so that we can get more uh, value out of playing them. And then the spectral pack, I mean, who knows, bro. Spectral pack's a bit of a wild card. I think it could be worth it, though. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going I'm to spend four bucks and we're going to send it on the spectral pack. Let's see what we get. You might get something crazy good or maybe not that impressive. So the Ouija is going to take every single card that is presented to us here from our own deck and it's going to turn them all into the same rank. I could end up getting all aces, I could end up getting all twos, but I mean, regardless of which number I get, it would increase my ability to play something like, you know, four of a kind. Uh, even like a full house, I imagine should be easier. Um, but I already have... Like sim it's not like every every card's a different rank here. There's three sevens here for crying out loud. Trance, on the other hand, just adds a blue seal to one of my cards. Blue seals generate planet cards if uh, you know how to use them properly. I think I'd probably find more value in that. So I'm gonna go with trance. Uh, I don't know which card I necessarily want the seal on. Uh, right now, because of, of the Raised Fist Joker, I'm incentivized to leave higher value cards in my deck, so if I play into that, it'd make most sense to put the, the seal on an ace card, I guess. By that logic, so screw it. Okay, and then the Celestial Pack, I think, is probably going to be worth it, too. And then we'll just take our $22 and go to the next round. Hope for the best. Okay, we got Neptune, which, I mean, yeah, if I ever get a straight flush, it'd be nice for it to do even more, but I, I'm not going to rely on that. I think, uh, I think I'd want to put, um, I'd want to use a planet card on, like, the least valuable hand. So between two pair and full house, two pairs, not actually worth that much right now. So leveling that up means that if I have to play a two pair, it'll be better. Uh, on the other hand, I like playing full houses. It's normally not that hard to get a full house. And yeah, if I do, it's only going to be better. So I'm a little torn here. I'm going to go two pair. I think that's going to be, like, the safer option. But that's not a bad... I don't think it's a bad thing. Not when I'm doing a challenge run. Okay, yeah, I don't think it's worth re-rolling for another Joker. I'm just gonna go next round. Uh, I feel confident that we can make it through another round. 800 chips and we don't even have a debuff. So yeah, I feel like we can do that. Uh, if we skip it, we can get uh, a pack for just regular playing cards. But it's, it, it's tough to justify getting just random regular playing cards thrown in the deck until either a you've started thinning your deck and you actually want more cards to make up for the cards lost or if you have some specific strategy in mind which i certainly don't it's too early to say so i'm not going to just start throwing random cards in my deck so these are all there's nothing here there's there, there's a pair of jacks i guess that's all i can really play play into right now so all right i guess i'll just discard these and just see what happens not really much, but I do have another pair now of aces, and I did just level up my two pair, so... This is a level two two pair. Um, my lowest card in my hand is a three, so we'll be adding a six to the malt. Uh, so this is gonna be 50, 60, 70, 82. 82 times si uh, nine? 82 times nine? My mental math tells me we'll be close. Yeah, 738 is pretty good. So we could probably play just about any hand and clear it. And we just got three of a kind, so that'll that'll clear the, the gap. Uh, I also left my, my blue seal, so watch this. I just played a three of a kind. And now, our eggs increase in value, obviously. And now, <laughs> we just got a Venus card. So our blue seal just generated the planet that levels up three of a kind because I ended the hand, or ended the round, with a three of a kind, and I left that blue seal in my hand, so... Very cool, very cool little bonus you can get from those seals. So, uh, might as well use it now, no, no reason not to. Next time I use three of a kind, it'll be even better. Look at this, we got a foil joker. Foil jokers just give us plus 50 chips, just completely regardless. That's very, very tempting to take. I mean, I don't have anything to add chips right now, so that's gonna help a lot. First played face card gives times two molt when scored. I, I've taken photograph before, but I think I only took it just because it was a new Joker. Then I sold it immediately. I've never actually played with photograph before. Uh, I don't know how much value I'll get out of like the meaning of the Joker, but I mean just just it being a foil Joker. I think I have to take this right. So uh, I think it's time to sell our second egg. <clears throat> I'll take the eleven, not because I need the cash, but because I need the room. 
uh, I think it's worth making the room. And I don't I don't want to sell Raised Fist yet. I, I would only want to replace Raised Fist with a, another Joker that adds Malt, uh, which this Joker does not. I think I'm just going to save my money. I, again, I know I'm not generating interest, but I just don't think now's the time to be spending the money. I, I have enough Jokers to get through probably the next several rounds on my own. I don't need to spend the money right now. I'd rather just run it and then the next time we're in the shop we'll see if they just give me something better without having to re-roll you know so this guarantees the next joker in the shop also becomes foil uh foil of course being very good i just took a joker purely because it's foil i would be open to replacing this with a different foil joker that i feel like i could get more value out of uh and i could guarantee the opportunity to do so by simply skipping the big blind am i confident enough that i could take out the club uh, without another visit to the shop? Uh, yeah. Honestly, I think, I think I could. I don't think I'm being, uh, unreasonable here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my foil joker next time we're in the shop, and, uh, for now, let's go for 1600, knowing that my club cards are debuffed, and we'll just hope for the best. Well, that's three spades. Strong opening. Um, but I already have a two pair, it's just that they're with debuffed cards. Does it matter that much, though, now that I say it out loud? Because we just added a foil joker. This is going to more than make up for that. So, actually, yeah, I'm just going to play these sevens and fives. Actually, uh, instead of the sevens, I'll play the fives and twos. That way, uh, we end up adding 14 to our mult, and I still keep my three spades in case I need to play another hand and I can try to roll for a flush. Um, I might even get rid of this, too. Like, I'm going to play the seven knowing that it won't do anything, it's basically just me discarding a card that I wouldn't be able to get any value out of anyways. So, I think that's the play. Let's do it. I don't, it's okay, I don't mind the debuffs. The debuffs just mean that the points from the cards don't get added, but it's okay, because I'm adding 50 just thanks to this Joker. And that one hand was enough. We got our 1600. Okay, well, Hermit's obviously a good buy. It just doubles your money. You spend three dollars and then whatever's left gets doubled. So yeah, I'm sitting with 43 bucks. So <laughs> money, not an issue currently. So here's our here's our foil joker that I uh, skipped to get. And it's just another joker that increases in uh, or adds malt based on the, 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 uh, the suit that you're playing. I will probably get more value out of that than photograph. I don't know, man. I'm just not seeing a, f a future where I'm like consistently playing face cards unless I can really manage to thin the deck so I'm just gonna sell photograph and I'm gonna replace it with this joker recognizing that I can't really play into the wrathful joker that much but just the 50 foil makes it worth it anyways uh okay a voucher introduces a card slot in the shop I think I have to do that We're, we are exceptionally reliant on our jokers this uh for this challenge so having the opportunity to choose from three jokers in the shop instead of two is worth it not to mention buying that gave us a free re-roll in the shop so now there's three more jokers to choose from and i didn't even have to pay for a re-roll so i'd say it's super worth it mr bones saves you <laughs> this is it this is an extra life if i fail the challenge run mr bones will revive me i kind of have to take that don't i that sounds really good. Blue Joker, another Joker that gives chips, and it's not even foil. So, not bad. I mean, it gives, by the way, considerably more chips than this does. So, it's kind of tempting just to take this. Uh, the amount of chips it gives goes down the more hands you play, but even at, at its worst, I'm probably still going to be getting more chips from this Joker than this Joker is giving me. And like I said, I'm not getting a ton of molt from this Joker. It's just a nice little bonus anytime I happen to play a spade card. I would be willing to sell Wrathful Joker to get the Blue Joker and then sell an egg to get Mr. Bones. I... I don't like that again. I'm already only going to be down to two eggs. But I'm doing good financially. We're surprisingly, like, healthy on our finances. Uh, I know I skipped a blind just so I could get this Wrathful Joker, but I really do think Blue Joker is a better uh, a better card for, the, for its purpose. So I'm going to take it. And I'm selling an egg. I hate to say it, another egg's gone, but I have to take Mr. Bones. There's just too much value in having that extra extra life, especially in a challenge run. Uh, I've got so much cash, I'm gonna reroll. It's only five bucks, let's see what else we get. Uh, okay, good selection, I'll be honest, not bad. So the Jupiter's gonna level up our flush. Flush is a pretty easy hand to play and it's got good value. I have to take that, man. It's only three bucks to level up my flush. 
I, I will be doing that. Thank you very much. And then we've got Gross Michael. I don't know what this is. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It's just a banana, okay? I don't know what Gross Michael is. But the banana adds 50 mult to my hand. I don't know if I could replace Raised Fist, but maybe. I mean, Raised Fist does more than the banana if my lowest card is an 8. <laughs> but if I have any card that's lower than an 8, which of course many of my cards are, the banana does more. However, there's a 1 in 6 chance every single round the banana can just destroy itself. <laughs> But there's value in that. You kind of, in a way, want the banana to destroy itself because once Gross Michael is gone, uh, a different card spawns in its place in the shop, if you're lucky, and it's called Cavendish, and it, uh, it's a very valuable card to have with you. I, I want this. I just... I don't like that I'm selling Raised Fist, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't think that's a bad idea. I just don't want to sell another egg. It's too early in the run. I like this better. I think we're gonna get get uh, more uh, more chips out of our hands, or more score out of our hands. Okay, I'm going to go next round. I don't think I'm going to re-roll for six bucks. I think we should just move on because, again, I'm feeling pretty good about my cards. I know that we can make it through the next few blinds. Uh, skipping blinds is going to give us cash. It's going to give me $15 if I skip this blind, and then this blind is going to give me $20. It says 15 but that's going to go up in 5 just by skipping this. So I could just take... What is that, 35 bucks? <laughs> and skip straight to the mouth? The mouth is 4,000 though, and I can only play one hand type. That's gonna be tough. I don't necessarily know I'll get anything in the shop that'll help me by that point, but uh, maybe. Um, okay, if both of these blinds are gonna give me the same reward for skipping, I would rather play the smaller blind because it'll be easier, and then we'll skip the big blind for the, for the 15 bucks and we'll go for the mouth. That's the play. I'm not going to skip them both, but I would like to skip one of them. Okay, what's our hand? We got three sixes, and we did level up our three of a kind, so not bad. If I play the three as well... Oh wait, no, I got rid of my raised fist, <laughs> so never mind. Okay, so we can just play a three of a kind. I don't think it's a bad idea. We've got four hands, I don't think that's a bad hand. Our jokers will add enough value to this that it should put us a decent... Oh yeah, no, that, that helped a lot. I forgot how much 15 is, that's really good actually. <laughs> That's really good. I kind of don't want Gross Michael to go anywhere yet. At a certain point, I'll actually be waiting for Gross Michael to, to break. But uh, for now, honestly, I'd, I'd like Gross Michael to stick around. Again, I know, I know I'm know, i probably pronouncing that wrong. I just don't care. To me, that's Gross Michael. I don't know what that is. Okay, Saturn levels up our straight. Not bad. I might take that. I want that Celestial pack, actually. So I'm going to take... Yeah, I don't know. I should be receptive to playing any hand at this point. Because I don't have any jokers that are currently encouraging me to play a hand, and I'm not willing to take any jokers that will, at least not at this point. So, I'm receptive to pretty much any hand. So I'm going to buy Saturn, and I'm going to buy the Celestial pack. Choose one. Okay, I could level up straight again, which is definitely the most... It, but definitely the best hand out of our selection here. Pluto is just literally high card. I, I If I'm in a position where I'm playing high cards, I'm screwed anyways. I'm not going to take Pluto. That's not always the case, but currently, the way I'm looking at the omelet, uh, I'm going to say no on Pluto. Mercury levels up a single pair again. That's like the second worst hand. I, I think i got to just level up straight again. So our straight's level 3 now. Suddenly... Uh, actually pretty appealing to go for straights. I mean, let me just look at my hands. That's 90 times 10. Currently, that's the only hand better than a straight is a straight flush. So, if I was going to try to play straights anyways, wouldn't it be nice to then also get an extra 12 mult every time I play a straight? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I don't want to sell an egg just for that, but uh, I'm definitely thinking about that. I mean, if this guy shows back up in the shop in the future and then I've already lost my banana, then I would probably take it. Uh, at this point, though, I think I want to go next round. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling good about my straights. Okay, so we'll... I said I was going to skip this for 15 bucks. I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm going to do it. I think that's smart. <clears throat> we keep getting tags that are giving us cash. Uh, so important for this challenge. So important to be taking those, I think. So yeah, I'm okay with that. I think we can do the mouth. I... If I... If I just played one straight, it'd probably be good enough. But if I do play a straight, I'm locking myself in. Dude, they literally just gave me four cards. I kind of have to go for straights, right? Come on, they're gonna give me that right out the gate? Look at this, I could go for a straight flush if I'm lucky. 
You see that? That's pretty tempting. Um, but I do have a two pair here as well. And it, it is easier to play two pairs. And it's not bad. My two pair is already level two. Again, I'm getting good value out of my jokers. I feel like I could play just about any hand and be safe for this blind with four hands. As long as my discards aren't giving me the, just the worst cards possible. I think we can do two pairs. I think in, in three two pairs, we'd be able to do this blind very comfortably. If I'm lucky, I might be able to do it in two. Maybe I'm misgaging that. I'm going to send it. Because I... The problem is, if I play a straight, I'm locking myself into straights for the rest of the mouth, and uh, there's no guarantee I'll get a second straight. But I feel pretty comfortable getting two pairs, so let's do it. Please give me like 2,000 for this. Nice, 2,800. Yeah, no, I feel good about that. One more two pair and we've got this. We've got two eights right there. Um, so let's just discard everything else, and then we'll just, I guess, hope that we get an ace. Yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, oh, we got threes. Look at that. Look at us. There we go. There's your second two pair. See, sometimes, you know, if you've got a, a, a bottleneck strategy where every single round you're relying on doing one specific thing, uh, these boss blinds can screw you. Like, what if I was, you know, only playing straights, uh, and then I got this boss blind? It'd be tough to reliably get two. So I better hope that the one straight I get is worth it. Now, we just lost Gross Michael already. There goes our banana. <laughs> so I'm in the market for uh, a joker that's going to add malt. And sure enough, in this uh, store, we ended up getting Fibonacci. Each played ace, two, three, five, or eight gives plus eight when, when scored. I kind of have to take this for now. Uh, we can sell this later if I find a, a joker that I think I'll be able to get even more value out of. But for a joker that's adding to my malt, Fibonacci is not bad. There are some, there are much worse options. So yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at our, our upcoming, uh, our upcoming blinds. Let's see what we have. Okay, we can upgrade our high carb by three levels by skipping the next blind. <laughs> it's not even the worst option, but... Uh, you know what? Looking at the boss blind, though, where we have zero discards... I might find myself in a position where I need to play a high card. It could happen, because I might be playing a hand uh, with the intention of using it as a discard. In which case, we might as well get more out of our high cards. So that's actually pretty tempting. And then a free rare joker. Oh, man. I really want that, dude. I want a free rare joker. Are you kidding? Of course I want a free rare joker. I'm tempted to skip both of these. I don't know. I don't think... If I'm had, if if i already going to be skipping the big blind, I should probably do the small blind. Okay. So I will for sure be going to the shop after the next blind. So I'm not going to re-roll this. I'm just going to go next round. And we're going to do the small blind because I'm going to be skipping the big blind. I don't want to have to skip them both. Okay, what do we get? Yeah, let's discard all these and just see what happens. Let's see what we can pair with our queens. Okay, we got a three of a kind. I could play a three of a kind. Um, if this isn't the winning hand, though, then it's not going to generate the planet card. But I know that this will put us enough of the way that it's fine. Oh, that being said, though, I forgot my... The Joker I just took encourages me to play very specific cards if I want to get my malt. Uh, and none of these cards actually meet those requirements. Oh, the 8 does, actually, but that's it. Because I want to keep the ace. Okay, well, this definitely will not be the winning hand. I'm just going to be playing three of a kind for the sake of it, and it's not actually going to be that much. Should I just keep discarding? No, I've only got two discards. I should play this. Hopefully it gives me, like, at least a thousand, though. I didn't do the math. I'm just hoping. 790. That's not much. That's not much, man. I really got to play something that's going to, you know, actually get me molt from the Fibonacci. I don't know where we're going with this. I have a straight right here, but that's not... not that's not going to be the winning hand either, but it'll put me a lot closer than that three of a kind did, and then I still have two hands to play. I think that's fine. Let's do it. Let's play the straight, because I still have two hands after this. That'll be enough. We'll make it. We, we do get the, the Joker triggered for that eight, which is nice. How much? Nice. 3,700. Now we're very, very close actually to beating this. Oh, wow. Look at that. I got a four of a kind of aces. However, if I play this, I'm not generating a planet card. So I could play four of a kind and just be like totally overkill for no reason. Or I could leave this ace behind, play three of a kind, uh, and then generate a planet card to level up my three of a kind for the future. So I think that's an excellent play. I'm going to do it. My three of a kinds are looking pretty good. So some of my hands actually are leveling up pretty, pretty nicely at this point. Look at that, that was 4200 just because of our Fibonacci card. But now we've leveled up so that next time we do three of a kind, it'll be even better. 
Okay, what's the shop giving us today? So we've got the credit card. The credit card's, it's tempting. Uh, for for this challenge specifically, it's more tempting than usual to take the credit card, uh, which allows you to go up to $20 in debt. Basically, if I take this, it means I go from $30 to $50. I'd have to sell an egg to do it though, which is already gonna give us 20 bucks. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hold on to my two eggs that are only just gonna keep increasing in value. And then if I'm at a point where I need 20 bucks, guess what? I sell an egg. I mean, by that point, it might be worth 30 or even 40 bucks. I don't think I'll, I don't think the credit card's worth it. Okay, well, with my $32, I will be buying a Celestial pack and then just going to the next round, I guess. Because I don't think I want to reroll. Okay, I'm looking at Mars and Jupiter. Now, I don't get four of a kind very often. It's not a reliable hand to get. Not if I haven't done anything to my deck to kind of weigh the odds. So I think I'd rather level up my flush. I think it's more reliable. A level three flush is very nice. Now, I want to quickly look at the run info. Let me compare with the straight. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, look at the straight. Straight and flush are both level three. But yet, the straight is going to give me way more than the flush will. <laughs> I would have to get flush to level 4 just to rival the, the score that a straight gives. So you can see why that's confusing. At the start of the game, a flush is better, but after leveling them up, a straight is better. Okay, I'm going to take my $28 and move on, maybe. I'm skipping the... I'm going to reroll. I'm going to reroll because I'm skipping the next blind, so I'm not going to get the opportunity to revisit the shop, so I'll do, I'll do one reroll. Okay, we level up straight again. Half Joker, plus 20 Malt if played hand contains three or fewer cards. So there's only so many hands that are three or fewer cards. It's only these bottom four hands. No, not even two pair. Three of a kind pair and high card are the only hands that will trigger this Joker. So unless I've like just completely stacked my three of a kind, uh, you know, level like if i've got like a level seven three of a kind and i've got a deck that's trying to force three of a kinds or four of a kinds then yeah sure i could take that but that's not the scenario so i'm gonna take this straight let's get to level four that alone makes the reroll feel worth it to me i would spend eight dollars on getting up to a level four straight i don't hate that i mean look at that that's so much that actually does more than a straight flush if i if i if i go for a straight and they're all the same suit i'll actually go down and score <laughs> because i haven't been leveling up my straight flush okay next round it's unlikely to happen anyways okay we're skipping like i said i want that free rare jo rare joker i mean guaranteeing a rare joker regardless feels pretty worth it but the fact it's free is even better so we're gonna skip blind again the reason we want a free joker is because or a rare joker mind you is because the rare jokers tend to uh multiply your mult uh so having one of those is i don't know in my mind essential you want to have a joker to add chips you want to have a joker to add mult and you want to have a joker to multiply mult okay so we're doing the water, which means we have no discards. Every single hand I pull out, I have to play. So, the only scoring hand I have right now is this, is playing a pair. But I can play a hand just to discard, right? I mean, I've got a flush forming here, right? I could play this hand recognizing I'll hardly get anything for it, but it just acts as a, as a discard to, to set us up later. I It's got to be better than playing a pair, dude. I don't think I want to play a pair. Um, now do I want to game for a flush or do I want to game for a straight because I've got a seven six five here with a nine so I could go for an eight or I could go for a four with the three I mean I'm gonna get way more out of that I've been leveling up the straight it's it's gonna do big big numbers so I'm gonna get rid of the king I'm gonna get rid of the two I'm gonna get rid of one of the fives so this is the hand I'm going to play as a discard, and I'm just going to hope that I get either an 8 or a 4 in the next hand. I could go all the way and get rid of the 3 and just put it all for an 8. Uh, I think that's reckless. I think it's better to uh, be open-minded, because I could take a 4. I don't mind the lower scoring hand. It's not going to be by much when I'm mostly relying on Blue Joker to add my value anyways. Okay, I'm going to play hand as a discard, so I know this isn't going to score high. That's fine. I don't need it to. It'd be a nice bonus. Okay, didn't get either of the cards I wanted. That's very unfortunate. So now I have to do the exact same thing again. This is only feeling like a worse and worse idea each time I do it. Because I have fewer and fewer hands to play. I only had four hands in the first place. If I play this, I'm down to two hands. Do I really think I can get 10,000 score in just two hands? Not really, but I mean, what what would you have me do? I can't just play a pair. It's not going to be worth it, man. I just got genuinely bad hands. 
I can only take the blame so much. At a certain point, I gotta blame my luck, and we're getting very unlucky. So if we're purely relying on luck at this point anyways, then screw it. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I need my 8, I need my 2, or my 4, I mean, and I didn't get either. <laughs> I just cut another three. This sucks, man. I'm putting it all on one hand. Is the hand going to be enough? Frankly, again, no, I don't think so. I know we've got a strong straight. Okay, again, just really need a four or an eight, bro, for the next hand, or else it's game over. I mean, it might be game over regardless, but at least there's still a chance. In my mind, there's still a chance if I can get a four or an eight. Okay, however, I mean... Worst case scenario is we lose Mr. Bones and we keep playing. So, again, I'm so glad he's here. <laughs> hey, we got our four. Three, four, five, six, seven. Is this going to be enough? Let's see. If it's not, then Mr. Bones is going to have to save us. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think it's enough. Nope. It's not enough. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bones. Well, on the plus side, we have a free joker slot. <laughs> we just guaranteed a free rare joker, and we freed up a slot to take it. So I guess it's not the end of the world. Oh, that's like my least favorite rare joker, bro. <laughs> the obelisk. This joker gains times 0.2 molt per consecutive hand played without playing your most played poker hand. What is my most played poker hand? It's, it's, oh, three of a kind and two pair. Great. So as long as I don't ever play two pair or three of a kind, this joker will continue to increase in value. But yeah, it basically locks me out of ever playing either of those two hands ever again. <laughs> and by the way, the hand will change the moment one of these hits four. And then I'm going to have to add another hand to the mental list of hands I can't play. And the moment I do have to play one of those hands, this joker resets all of its value. <sighs> it's a tough joker to play with, man. It's a really tough joker to play with. But it's free, and I've got an open slot. I might as well take it, but I'm pretty open to replacing it. Now, I do have the Fool right in front of me, which is just going to generate a Saturn card. Saturn, of course, being uh, the one that levels up straights. So our straights get even stronger if I generate another another card for three bucks. Now, this Joker is not bad, the Abstract Joker, but it really gets more valuable when you have more than five Jokers. If you've got, if you, if you're playing a run where you've got seven or eight or nine Jokers, then suddenly, yeah, Abstract Joker gets a lot better, but right now it's only going to be 15 Malt, and it will only ever be 15 Malt. Meanwhile, Fibonacci gives plus eight Malt per card that is Ace, two, three, five, or eight. The, 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 the potential for Fibonacci uh, is much higher than Abstract Joker, but Abstract Joker is more, I guess, reliable. Yeah, but this is going to trigger every hand. Unless I could get at least two cards that meet the Fibonacci requirement every single hand, Abstract Joker will do more. I've, I've just talked myself into it. I'm going to do it. I lose no money for this, by the way, because I'm selling that for $4 and buying this for $4. Just for more reliable mold. Okay. Fool, I'm going to buy it. I'm gonna level up my straight even more. Uh, and I, I'll be honest with you, I think I'm just gonna ignore the obelisk. I'm gonna leave it here, and look, if it if it ends up helping me in some way, great. But yeah, I'm not gonna like try to play into it. Okay, so we can skip the next blind for another free rare joker. I gotta do that, dude. I have to. You might think that's stupid, but I, it's not. I, I I hate to tell it to you, but it's not. I have to I have to play risks like that, and it's gonna be so worth it if I get a, a, a rare joker that's actually gonna like trump the obelisk so the next blind i'm playing i'm gonna need to be able to score 16k i couldn't even score 10k in the last blind but i had no discards and i do largely blame that could i score 16k with the current joker lineup do you think i should chance a reroll? i think i should swashbuckler wow dude this seems like an excellent this seems like an excellent card for the omelet. If I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, hesitant to sell these jokers anyways, my eggs, they're only going to increase the value of Swashbuckler the longer I hold on to my eggs. Abstract Joker just got completely gapped. That's pretty cool. I think I think we have to take that, dude. It's plus 58 molt? No, because it adds itself, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay, 58 molt. That was an excellent reroll. That was super, super worth it. I feel way more comfortable going forward. Okay, uh, so we're skipping this because I really want the rare joker. So now the question is, do I want the rare joker before the upcoming boss blind? 
Yeah, I really do. <laughs> I re it would be really nice. <sighs> and it's free, so I don't have to worry about the fact I've only got seven bucks anyways. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this blind. This will be a good opportunity to test our, our test our new swashbuckler, just to see how much we can squeeze out of just a good old fashioned, good old fashioned hand, nothing special. What can we get out of this, by the way? What do we have? We've got a pair here with our eights. I mean, I've got a straight forming here, nine, eight, six, five. You think I should go for it? I think I should. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to get a straight out of this. I don't think that's reckless. I mean, I'm only, I, I just need a seven. We can get a seven. I got three discards and four hands. Ideally, one straight will be enough to win us the, the blind anyways. And I just got my seven. And I even got a ten. Look at me. We deserve a little bit of luck in our favor. Following that horrible water hand where we lost Mr. Bones so early in the run. I need a bit of luck. We got the swashbuckler. We just got a solid straight. Let's take, let, okay, let's, this is, this is us testing the water. Let's see if the swashbuckler is goaded as I'm hoping. That's pretty good. That was 24k from one straight. That's pretty good. And by the way, again, every single uh, blind that we beat, it's going to increase the swashbuckler's mult. So now it's up to 64. Uh, and that increases because we have our two eggs, right? Okay. We're in the shop. Here's our free rare joker. This is what I wanted. This is what I skipped for. Times two mult if played hand contains a flush. Okay, so suddenly we're much more encouraged to play flushes. Uh, I, that's not where my planet cards have been going, I'll be honest. They've been going into the straight. I don't actually get that much from a flush. Is a times two molt going to be worth it? I feel like at this point the straight's better. I don't think I can take this. I would get more out of the obelisk, but that being said, as soon as the straight becomes my most played hand, obelisk becomes moot. I could sell the obelisk for four bucks and then take the tribe in its place and just hope that I get some value out of it at some point and then eventually sell it if it doesn't provide value and that's another free probably four bucks. Smiley face just makes our face cards give more malt, which is, you know, it's a nice little bonus, but it's not worth selling an egg for. It could be worth selling the tribe for though because again, I don't think I'm going to be getting value out of this anyways. Uh, I'd rather just roll for the buffoon pack. I'm going to do it though. I got 50 bucks. Now I'm going to roll, I'm going to open the buffoon pack. Let's just hope we have a Something we can, uh, stick in there. Nope, nothing rare anyways. Wily Joker, if played hand, contains three of a kind. It's not worth it, man. I mean, I could take it anyways, and then we'll just sell it. Which do you think has more sell value? They're both common. They probably both sell for, like, one or two bucks. Uh, no reason to sell it yet, because I'm not going to buy anything. So we'll just go to the next round. All right, what do we got? Ace, King, Queen. That's the start of a straight. We can go for a, uh, Jack-10. The problem is our hand size is down one. I've only got seven cards. That's tough. Like normally you can discard five cards at a time, but uh, that leaves me two cards. That's that's so rough. Uh, uh, this seems like the only. This seems like the smartest thing I could do. I mean, we just played a straight. We know how much value we get out of a straight. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, to be fair, the obelisk did multiply my straight by one point two, so I, it won't score quite as high as it did last time. But if I, even if it scores, you know, 19k, I only need a 3k hand to push me the rest of the way. I think, uh, I think we can go for a straight. I think I should do it. I'm just gonna hope for the best here. We got our 10. I really need my jack to show up. Oh, yes, we got one. Nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I didn't want to have to do another discard after that. Okay, perfect. This is the highest scoring straight I can play, by the way. So, this is the best hand I could ask for. Let's uh, hope that it uh, pushes us a very considerable distance towards the finish line. Oh yeah, nice. That one hand was 24k. Not bad. Not bad. Very nice. We've reached anti-6. We're close, fellas. We need to get anti-8. Okay, what do we get today? We got the voucher. I mean, normally this is an insta-buy for me. Um, but I've only got $11 and I'm not seeing a lot of other cash. Not until I sell one of my eggs, which I don't want to have to do. I'm really trying my best to just ride out these last two eggs because they're adding so much value to the swashbuckler. I need to keep them, man. 
I need to keep those eggs. Ice cream, the value comes in the upcoming hands. In the upcoming hands, ice cream is going to give me more than Blue Joker does. But in the latest hands, like in, when I'm at anti-8, I think Blue Joker is going to give me more chips than ice cream. And that's where it's going to be, be the most important. So I won't, I won't make that swap. We just got another straight card, dude. We're kind of be pushing up to level 7. This is honestly the only reason I'm still in the game. It's because I've been playing straights and I've leveled them up so much. So I need to continue you playing into that we need another saturn i think that's going to be the absolute most reliable strategy going forward there's no way i'm going to get some joker combination this late into the run that's going to guarantee no matter what hand i play i get you know massive score or whatever out of it we need to still play very uh, high scoring hands so saturn's going to be good for that okay our blinds are offering us 17 dollars each what did i say i said if I, I need to find other ways to get income because i'm not willing to sell my eggs anymore I think we should definitely take one of these two offers. I don't think I should take both. That's pretty risky, especially considering our debuff coming up where one in seven cards get drawn face down, which makes it a lot more difficult to play specific hands when you don't actually know the card that is in your hand. Uh, okay, well, if, if these are both going to offer the same blind and I'm only going to take one, I should definitely play the smaller blind and then skip the bigger one, right? <sighs> But it's tempting to take both, dude. 34 bucks. That'd top us right up, man. But I wouldn't even have the opportunity to spend it before I do the wheel, and I need to be able to spend it. Okay. We're gonna do the small blind, and then we're gonna skip the big blind. Okay, we got a king queen ten. Oh, this is a two, four, five, six. What am I talking about? We're obviously closer there. We'll go we'll roll for a three. That's fine. Discarded. Oh, no threes. Although we did get a Okay, we've got an eight, seven, six, four five now wait four is a straight what am i talking about <laughs> yeah i don't know why i didn't consider that i didn't need a three i could have gotten an eight as well okay we got our straight let's play it this isn't going to be 20k right here i don't think or maybe it will i don't think i'm relying that much on the value of the cards like the ranks right yeah no it's actually kind of fine as long as we have a straight it doesn't really matter what rank the cards are especially as swashbuckler continues to raise in value 74 very nice very very nice Okie dokie, Mercury is offering to level up our pair. I will pass. Card sharp. So we've got a, a card that malts. So the first straight that I play is not going to trigger this. But if I ever have to play a second straight, it's going to do so much more. That's worth it. We got to get rid of Wily Joker. I mean, obviously Wily Joker is not doing anything for us anyways. It's just a holdover because I bought that Joker pack. That's, that feels worth it to me. If I'm ever in a position where I need to play a second poker hand, it's going to do a lot more. Um, but it needs to be the same. That's the stipulation. Card sharp only increases if it's the same hand that I've already played. And I'm only playing straights. So it can be tough to get two straights, but I, uh, I'm just going to have to chance it. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be what clutches us out. If, if, if I need to score enough, uh, you, you should be able to push me the rest of the way if I can play two straights. I feel confident in that. Okay, let's hope, uh, let's put all of our faith in the Unabomber <laughs> what, by the, <laughs> when we hit that final blind. Okay, we're skipping this. I said I wanted my, my, my money. I actually get an extra an extra bit of cash for it, too. I actually considered that, but yeah, by, by me skipping the second, or, or by taking the second handy tag, it actually went up in value. So let's do it. Let's take my $18, and let's, uh, let's run the wheel, baby. Uh, none of my cards are face down, so we're very fortunate that our current hand... Uh, we can visibly see everything. Our closest straight right now is here. It's actually a straight flush, which I'd want to avoid. We're going to shed our, our three of hearts because I actually don't want to flush out of this. And we're going to hope for uh, a five and hopefully it doesn't get drawn face down. But I'm going to tell you, if there's a face down card, if I draw a face down card in between the four and six, I might just have to chance it. <laughs> uh, still no face down cards, but unfortunately no fives either. We really need those. Come on. Oh, we got a seven too, so we can actually play an even higher, a higher straight. Okay, there's our first face down card. We can know that that's not anything, you know, lower rank than a jack. So it's probably a queen, king, and ace. It might just be another jack. Okay, well, let's play, baby. I almost discarded. I don't know why I was hovering over discard. I'm losing my mind. I, I would scrap the whole video if I did that. <laughs> I would just scrap the recording and pretend that none of this happened. Okay, nice. That was 29k right there. If I play a second straight, it's going to put us over the moon because of card sharp. Um, am I going to be able to get another straight? I don't know. 
I think I might be better off using my last three hands to just play whatever hands I can get here because, I mean, a two pair... I might have to math this out, let's think. Okay, if I've done the math correctly, this is gonna give me 9,828, which is nearly enough. Uh, and then at that point, I could play pretty much any hand and that would push me over, uh, over the line. So yeah, I feel comfortable playing a two pair, let's do it. 9,828, I know my Balatro. Perfect. Uh, and now, I mean, I've got a pair right here, we can just play this and then that'll push us over the, push, push us over the edge. Perfect, our eggs. Increase in value, our two eggy little boys. They're each at 38. Darn, that's pretty nice. Uh, combined together, they're with the sell value of my other jokers, our swashbucklers now at an 81 malt. If I'm only playing straights, like if I'm genuinely only playing straights, then the devious joker will do more for us than the blue joker does. Um, but blue joker gives us some security in case I wanna play something that isn't a straight. Right. If I play something that isn't a straight, and I've got the devious joker instead of the blue joker, it's it's going to be worth way less than it was, you know, in the last hand. And I just proved that there's value in sometimes playing something that isn't a straight. Right. We just demonstrated that. So I've got more security with the blue joker, even though I've got higher potential with the devious joker. I I value the security. We're on anti seven, man. We're close. I really don't want to. I don't want to fumble the bag at this point. Uh, Neptune's gonna level up our straight flush, uh, but it wouldn't be enough to rival the straight, so it's not worth it. We do have two celestial packs, and I've got 22 bucks. I think uh, I think I'm gonna open them. I'm gonna hope for some better, uh, for some more jupes or not uh, jupes, some Saturns. Although I did just get a jupe. I mean, I'm, I, I might as well take it. There's no value in skipping this, right? I might as well I might as well level up my flush. But nice, there it is. There's a full house too, but uh, nope, Saturn's the way. We're committed. We're up to level eight now. Boy, I sure hope we don't run into the arm anytime soon. <laughs> I should probably look actually, what's our upcoming blinds? The eye, okay, we've got the eye coming up. No, oh shoot, no repeat hand types this round. There you go. Even more reason to not take Devious Joker right now. Our upcoming boss blind is gonna discourage, discourage us from repeating our hands, which sucks because that means card sharp is made useless. We, we, we literally won't be able to take advantage of that. Oh, that sucks. I really want another rare joker uh, on top of card sharp. I would be willing to sell an egg if I could find a rare joker that would, you know, multiply that I feel like I could take advantage of. But we're not there. We're not there. And I'm not going to re-roll for that. Uh, not when I've only got 14 bucks. So we're just going to run the next hand, I guess. Now the next blind is going to give us a free mega buffoon pack. Ah, oh, man, I'm gonna have to take that, dude. I think that's actually, like, the smartest thing I could do before the upcoming hand. Uh, or the upcoming boss blind. Okay, well, let's run this for now. This will give us another opportunity to visit the shop. It'll increase the value of our eggs, which increases the value of our swashbuckler. You know the drill. <laughs> I got a jack. Jack, ten, nine, eight. Still need a seven, although at this point I'd also be down for a queen, and there are still three queens in the deck. I don't want to discard my ace, though, so... Uh, no, we gotta just choose one, so I'm gonna- I'm still gonna go for seven, I think. This is not a big ask. We can get a seven. I know we can. <laughs> All I need is a seven. I just need a seven. It's, like, not unreasonable to ask for. Although at this point, I would also take a queen, and that would also give me a straight, because I've ascended past the need for a seven, technically. Okay, let's play this for now. There we go. I, <laughs> I knew you had it in you to give me a seven. I don't know why that was so challenging. There we go. And we'll be able to generate a Saturn card as a result because I've left the blue seal on my ace. Dude, I've gotten a lot of value out of that blue seal, haven't I? When I put that on earlier, I didn't think that was going to be, you know, showing up as often as it does. But that's actually provided... I, th I think this might be our third tarot card we've generated just from that seal. Pretty impressive. Our straight is now a level 9. That's awesome to see. That's awesome. I mean, because I really might be at a point where I'm relying so much on just playing a single straight for this upcoming boss blind. So, the stronger we get it, the better. Wheel of Fortune! We love the Wheel of Fortune here. We love the Gamba. One in four chance. Let's use it. <laughs> nope. That's okay. It never, you know, it, you never, you're never going to be able to like clutch it out with the Wheel of Fortune, but uh, in the middle of the run where you don't even really need it anyways, that always seems to be when it triggers. <laughs> okay, here's the Empress. Uh, honestly, two multi cards is not bad. I'll take that. 
If I could, like, you know, use that on the boss blind when I'm about to play my straight, it'll just add even more value to it. I, uh, I, don't, I don't hate that. We'll throw that in. So at this point, we just go next round, and we hope that we are as equipped as we can be, man. Because I'm skipping this. <clears throat> I'm taking this, bro. I want my Mega Buffoon pack. I want my two Jokers. Or at least the opportunity to choose from five Jokers, two of them, or four of them, I guess. Uh, not a good pack, I'll be honest. Most valuable card here, I think, is our hanging card to re-trigger the first card, but there's not that much value in it because our cards... The value in our cards is not where we're getting our, our score from. We're getting our score from our jokers for the most part just by playing a straight. It doesn't really matter what the cards are, so the hanging card's not going to do much. The only value I could get out of this is if I can get it to trigger one of the cards that I boost with the Empress, because then we could add... Uh, 12 malt instead of 4 malt, which is good, but even then, I mean, our swashbuckler is adding 87. It's not actually that much. I did not get a good pack, I'll be honest, and I can't even take these to just sell them, because I would still need to free up space in my hand in order to do so. All that being said, though, card sharp is about to be useless. Like, we are about to play the eye. No repeat hand types this round, which means that this this Joker will not trigger. It hasn't triggered once, by the way, since we took it. <laughs> Card Sharp actually has brought us zero value up to this point. I could just sell it for three bucks and then take one of these, sell it, take another one, sell it, <laughs> and then just take the cash instead. But alternatively, we could hang on to Card Sharp and just say, uh... He's going to be what gets us through the actual final ante. Uh, will he really? I don't know. It's a gamble either way, I guess. <sighs> We're going to need more help with the last hand than with the next hand. So I think I'm just going to skip, man. That sucks, man. That really sucks that I that I skipped the blind just to get a buffoon pack that ended up being this like useless. Okay, well, can I get 70k? That's the question. I mean, if I play a single straight... If I play a single straight, it's going to get me, like, maybe 30k at most. The extra 40k is going to come from playing other hands. How am I going to get 40k from playing other hands? I do not know. I, 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 I This might be the end of the run, I'll be honest. I don't really know how we're going to do this. I'm just going to have to make it happen. Well, they gave us our straight right out the gate. So I might as well take it. This is going to be our strongest hand for the entire run. So let's make sure that we also place the empress on our 10 and our 9 here so that we get more molt out of them okay dude if i can get like 40k out of this hand i would be happy please 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 bro <laughs> i'm not gonna do the math let's just see it my straight's at a level 9 man i've done as much as i can 48k okay i feel a lot better about this i think we can probably get 22k in our next three hands. I mean, if I, look, if I could get a straight flush, that actually counts as a different hand type. So that would that would be the clutch that we need, but it's so unlikely to happen, right? Our next highest scoring hand is just a regular old flush. So at this point, yeah, we're just looking at the colors. We're ignoring the numbers. So I got three clubs and there's still nine more in the deck. So I think that's going to be the play. There's a, there is a world where we get a straight flush with the clubs as well. It is, it is, it isn't impossible, right? We have a two, a four, and a five. If we could get a three and a six, uh, it's very unlikely, but uh, it's okay. We can just go for a flush. This is still a, a good flush to fish for. Okay, we've actually got our flush right here. King, ten, nine, five, four, two. Uh, I, I, I don't think, I, I don't think I need to be greedy. I really do think if I play three flushes, we win. I think three flushes will push us the rest of the way. Wait, what am I talking about? I can't repeat hand types. Am I stupid? Am I brain dead, brother? I can't play three flushes. I can play one flush. <laughs> now I need to play two different hand types. Okay. What well, can I get? Near just over 3k with two hands? Surely, surely our hands aren't that bad. I hope I get enough value out of this, man. This pair might be all I can do. I don't think I could try to fish for an eight right now. Oh, or an ace, actually. If I've got three aces in the deck. That would actually be even smarter. Okay. I don't feel so bad about that. I think we can get another ace. And then we'll play it with the jacks. And I don't mind the planet card being, uh, being shed. Being not played. I feel fine with that. There we go. There's our ace. Perfect. Okay, we got a two pair. 
I think this will be enough. I, I sh certainly hope so. Man, I'm so glad that straight did as much as it did. The 48k, I didn't think it was going to be that much. Thank goodness, man. If it wasn't that high, we wouldn't make it through this. Or if we did, it would have been very, very close. All right. Whoa, gentlemen, we've made it through the eye. <laughs> I'm stressing now. We've reached anti-8. This is it. The final three rounds. Is this how we beat the omelet? Well, uh, let, hang on. Let's just look at our other blind. So our small blind, if we skip it, we'll get to 25 bucks after beating the boss blind. Great. That's not super valuable, is it? All we need to do is beat the boss blind and then we win. So we'll be doing the next blind. We could skip the following blind for a mega standard pack, which we're not doing. Okay, so we're playing all three of these. We're not skipping anything else. So we will be revisiting the shop two more times. So I don't necessarily have to buy anything right now. This isn't our last time visiting the shop. We will be here two more times. All right. Let's go. Three more blinds. We're so close. I didn't even actually address this. I don't want to have to think about it, but our boss blind is the Amber Acorn. Flips and shuffles all Joker cards. Depending on the Jokers you have, that might not be a problem. And in a way, it's not a huge problem because it doesn't matter when Blue Joker triggers. It doesn't matter when my eggs trigger or if they trigger at all. But it is really important to that if I'm relying on Card Sharp for the boss blind, that it triggers after Swashbuckler. Like, that's pretty important. I would say crucially important. So, uh, um, I've seen people do this before, but you can hold a card in your hand when the boss blind shuffles your jokers. <laughs> it feels very cheap to do that, but <laughs> if I have to... Hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's just focus on our current hand. Okay, I got one last discard. I only need one one good straight and we'll be able to push through this. All right, the 10's adding vault, so that was actually a, a nice little pick up there. But yeah, I still need their jack. Okay, there we go. Perfect, thank you so much. Uh, if this isn't enough, we can just play a few other random hands and it'll be enough to push us the rest of the way, so no worries. There's the extra four malt from our 10. Plus a 93 there, nice. It's close, 47k. We're getting, we're getting pretty big scores with these hands, but we're still struggling, man. I get a little self-conscious knowing that other people that play this game uh, online for content are getting just insane hands. <laughs> then here's me struggling to beat the small blind. All right, great. Uh, are we up to 100 yet? We're at 99. Our swashbuckler is adding 99 malt. Hey, we got a mega buffoon pack. Should I just punt my last $8 on another Joker pack? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of tempting. It almost feels like fate. I've got exactly enough to get it. This is our second last time we'll be visiting the shop. I might end up getting a rare joker that's just a times two malt straight up. You know? I might get the, the banana, for crying out loud. The the Cavendish. Right? I, I lost uh, the first card. We I haven't seen the banana yet. I really wanted it. It's a times, I think, three malt. Maybe it was four malt or something like that. It's a great card to get. I'm really annoyed that I didn't get it when I lost the banana as early as I did. It could show up in this pack. And open it. Come on, baby. Uh, okay, actually, hang on. So I talked about ice cream earlier. I said, you know, by the time I get to the boss blind, it'll have melted enough that it doesn't bring me more value than um, the blue Joker does. But we're actually right, right near the end. Ice cream is now more value than blue joker, and it will be by the time we get to the boss blind. So that's actually a pretty good joker. I'll take that. So at least it wasn't a waste. Was it worth $8? I don't know, but that is technically better. I have $2 to my name. That's not enough for anything. Um, and I won't be getting any cash in order to go to the next shop anyways, so... Should I just skip this and take the mega standard pack? I mean, the value in doing this is going to be adding an extra... Th six dollars of value to my eggs which in turn add value to the swashbuckler it's too bad too because at this point in the run right most players would probably be like great this is my opportunity to sell my eggs uh to get all of this value right look at this i mean that's nearly a hundred dollars i would have if i sold these two eggs or no it actually would be a hundred if i if i did this blind we, could, we would end up in the shop and then i could sell these two eggs and then i would have a hundred dollars to spend in the shot. Very enticing, isn't it? Um, the, the reason I don't want to do that is because doing so would then make the swashbuckler tank. It would go down to like a plus 10 malt or something. <laughs> this sucks, man. I'm skipping the blind. 
<laughs> oh man, we're full sending. This is it, man. Okay, what's our what's our funny little cards we'll get to add? We can add a gold seal to give us three dollars with a hand plays. Great, that'll provide a lot of value, won't it? Because I'm totally going to the shop after this. At least we get this. The steel card can be at least something, bro. Times 1.5 before <laughs> adding 99. Kind of useless, but uh, not entirely. It's something. Uh, dude, I don't know. Give me the 8. <laughs> Give me the 8, I guess, I guess. Okay, this is it. For better or for worse, we are facing the Amber Acorn. With Ice Cream, Swashbuckler, Card Sharp, and two eggs. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Just as a reminder, I'm placing all of my faith on card sharp because it is literally this easy. I want you to know, if I can play two straights, we win. But only if Swashbuckler is triggered after, or, or if card sharp is triggered after Swashbuckler, right? If I can do that though, we win. If I can't do that, we lose. It is that simple. It is truly that simple. Okay, so I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna select Amber Acorn, I'm gonna grab Card Sharp, and I'm gonna hold it like this, and then let Amber Acorn shuffle all my jokers, and then I just need to place this after a Swashbuckler, okay? Here we go. I'm holding it. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so this is, this is Card Sharp. As long as I understand this correctly, even though we can't see it because I was holding it when the cards were shuffled It didn't shuffle it because I was holding it. So this is card sharp Which means if I place it there it will trigger after swashbuckler Which means I will get my value out of it as long as I play two straights I've got a two four five six looks pretty good now I recognize the five is the steel card. I just got I don't care I'm not gonna be able to get enough value out of it anyways It was just a nice bonus if I happened to be in a position where I wasn't playing the five we're not in that position It's Fine, we'll just play the five. So all we need right now is a three. I have four hands and three discards. We need to use them very carefully to make sure that I end up getting two straights. If I can do that, we win. Please, please, please give me a three. Yes, okay, perfect. Two, three, four, five, six. And we've got an eight and a 10 right there already. Where that, That's two cards out of five necessary for another straight. Okay, let's play this. Ice cream is right there. It just lost five value. That's fine. So that's 49k. That's nearly halfway there. 10, 9, 8, 7. We're so close. I just need a six or a jack. Oh, this is it. We win. We've got this. Are you kidding me? I just need a six or a jack. As long as I can get a six or a jack, even if I have to resort to playing hands in order to, dis to discard, as long as I have one final hand left, by the time I have a six or a jack, we win. Okay, nothing yet. It's okay. I'm not worried yet. Are you worried? I'm not worried. I'm fine. I'm not worried. Are you worried? I'm not worried. I'm not swapping. I'm not wor worried. me? No. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. We'll just play. We'll just play the hand as a discard. That's fine. We've done this before. That's fine. We can do that. We've got two hands left. One of them needs to be the actual hand, which means I only have one more discard, but that's fine. I'm not worried. Are you worried? Okay. <laughs> okay. Jack. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Thank goodness this 10 is a club. If this was a spade, it would actually do a lot less because it'd be a full, uh, a straight flush. Okay, this is it. <laughs> there it is. That one hand was 150k. Oh, thanks to the card sharp. Dude, so necessary at the end of the day. So necessary. There it is. We've completed our first challenge run. You win. You win, you win, you win. No, I'm not doing endless mode. Absolutely not. Not with this ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous hand with two eggs in it. I'm good. But, uh, wow, what a successful run. I'm glad we managed to do it. We'll be there for his challenge run. How exciting. That was a lot of fun. It's it's fun playing Balatro in a weird way uh, because of the, you know, conditions that you're under. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing another challenge run, I guess, next time we're here. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching me crack the omelet. Uh, and I... Uh, uh, I'm so glad that uh, you were here for it. So, see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Love you guys.